we are given the implicit equation and asked to determine dy dx. We begin by differentiating both sides of the equation with respect to x. And now on the left, we begin by differentiating e to the power of two xy with respect to x. We do have to apply the chain rule here where the exponent of two xy is equal to u. Remember the derivative of e to the u with respect to x is e to the u times u prime, which gives us e to the power of two xy times the derivative of two xy with respect to x, which requires the product rule, where let's let the first function be two x and the second function be y. So applying the product rule to find u prime, we have the first function of two x times the derivative of the second function with respect to x. The derivative of y with respect to x is dy dx. And then plus the second function of y times the derivative of the first function with respect to x and the derivative of two x with respect to x is two. And then we have plus the derivative of y to the fourth with respect to x, which is four y cubed times dy dx. Again, because we're differentiating a y term, we apply the chain rule and have an extra factor of dy dx. And then we have plus the derivative of x cubed with respect to x, which is three x squared. Notice here we don't have an extra factor of dy dx because we're differentiating an x term, not a y term. This is equal to, on the right, the derivative of one with respect to x is zero. And now we need to work on solving this equation for dy dx. Let's first clear the parentheses here by distributing e to the power of two xy. We have e to the power of two xy times two x times dy dx. Let's write that as two x e to the power of two xy times dy dx. And then we have plus e to the power of two xy times two y, which is two y e to the power of two xy. And then we still have plus four y cubed times dy dx plus three x squared equals zero. And now we need to isolate the dy dx terms on one side of the equation and the non dy dx terms on the other side. Notice right now we have one, two dy dx terms. Let's leave those two on the left and then we'll subtract two y u to the power of two x y and subtract three x squared on both sides. So this will give us two x e to the power of two x y times dy dx plus four y cubed times dy dx equals on the right, we will have negative two y e to the power of two x y minus three x squared. So the next step we factor out dy dx on the left, which gives us dy dx times the quantity two x e to the power of two x y plus four y cubed. The right side remains the same. And now the last step to solve for dy dx is to divide both sides of the equation by two x e to the two x y plus four y cubed. Simplifying on the left, we're left with just dy dx giving us dy dx equals the quantity negative two y e to the two x y minus three x squared, all divided by the quantity two x e to the two x y plus four y cubed. I hope you found this helpful.